Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in Vigdanistan, freezing cold, uh, you know, Vigdanistan. We had a little bit of nice weather, but it's back to freezing here in Melbourne. Of course, I didn't bring the weather down with me from Queensland, but we're going to have to make the best of it because guess what, ladies and gentlemen, Elon Musk is having a fight with the Jews. Yes, the ADL. We're going to stick around, talk about that tonight. It's going to be controversial. Stick around and listen. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so Elon Musk, what's he up to? Um, you know, he's having a little bit of a fight with the ADL, the uh, Anti-Defamation League. If you're not familiar with uh, what that is, it's basically a kind of Jewish, um, how would you describe it, lobbying group that um, monitors anti-Semitism. Of course, the report from Tiger Mountain would be one of their favorite shows. <laughs> No, of course not. We're so sweet here. But like, um, it's just a crazy group that basically labels pretty much everything as to be anti-Semitic. And, um, you know, uh, one thing that happened is, is when uh, Elon Musk took over Twitter, the advertising revenue of Twitter in America nosedived by approximately 60%. That happened pretty quickly within about a month of uh, Elon Musk taking over. And that was because ADL didn't hold sway there anymore. And they sort of used their power as a kind of blackmail um, to monitor uh, what goes on in that page um, and to decide what accounts, you know, for example, to decide whether Donald Trump should have a Twitter page, to decide whether Alex Jones should be on the platform, things like this. So, you know, it, and it, it's interesting because obviously, you know, we've had various celebrities come out and, you know, mention the unmentionables, have a bit of a kind of problem with, with, with the Jews. We've had, we've had Mel Gibson originally, of course. We had Roger, Roger Waters has been in lots of hot water for attacking Israel, like almost constantly on his social media pages. And then of course you had Kanye West recently. Uh, but you know, I mean, they, these are major people. Uh, but then of course you've got Elon Musk who is the most wealthy man in the world. So this is no longer a, a marginal figure. This is the most wealthy man in the world having a kind of rather public spat with the ADL. Now, I mean, the ADL has always been a notorious group. It's um, behind, um, you know, Antifa, uh, with people like George Soros and stuff. It's, it's just um, constantly, and it labels pretty much everything to be anti-Semitic, and, and it uses its power as a form of manipulation and political control. And the interesting thing about what's going on with Elon Musk is that he's kind of really exposed it. And as I said, he's not a marginal figure. He's the world's richest man. He owns Twitter. Um, you know, and this fight is, is very, very public and is kind of exposing, um, you know, uh, I guess the manipulation, the blackmail and the control of an organization like the ADL, the way they attack social media companies. Because, for example, you look at companies like Mark Zuckerberg's Facebook. I mean, you know, in a sense, they have to go along with what the ADL says. I mean, I even think someone like Zuckerberg, even though he is Jewish, is often tempted to to err on the side of freedom of speech on his platform because he knows that gets more, you know, more people engaged in Facebook, whether they be right wing, left wing. I mean, on the right, you've got, you know, the, the alt-right sector and you've got all the, you know, gropers. And on the left, you've got, you know, all the left wingers who hate Israel, which is just about every left winger, you know what I mean? Because the left wingers hate the occupation uh, in Israel. That's the one thing um, that the, the left and right often agree on. Anyway, so, you know, um, it's all very interesting what's going on. And I think this fight is a kind of expo so I think it's something that we should all keep uh, a close watch on um, and it is almost like a, a battle of the titans because it really does determine the future of freedom of speech because you know I mean it's interesting too because uh, Elon Musk has said that he's advertising revenue in Asian countries where the ADL has no power obviously the ADL has no power in China Japan and in most Asian countries it only has power in Western countries why that is is an interesting question in itself but it really has no power in the, uh, in the Asian countries so the advertising revenue of Twitter is is, is way up there but it's only affecting um, you know uh, Western countries where they're afraid of the blackmail and the um, kind of the ADL um, you know basically calling out anybody who might side with Twitter or side with Elon Musk. So it's a fascinating discussion and I think everybody here at the report from Tiger Man should uh, keep an eye on it and that's all I wanted to say and uh, obviously I'm on the side of Elon Musk and I hope he has a victory here and freedom of speech wins. So there it is ladies and gentlemen that's the report from Tiger Mountain back here in Victoria.